Leave some for the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, uh, oh, wow. Here we go. We're already in the pick fan phase. All right. Match three, round one, Roseth versus Blue. Couple of Titans coming in here. And one thing that we noted as well is that Roseth likes to ban out the Hathors a lot. Yeah, Hathor is a... Hathor is uh, a it's sleepy like, unit. We, yeah. It's a unit that uh, has too much in her kit. Not too much, but a really uh, a unit that you can utilize in any comp. Mm -hmm. She even she works well in almost the everything because she can pressure with that crowd control option, even if you don't have like a combo facilitator like the Ganymede on the table. Yep. So Ragdoll is, I, I want to know, does that bad. count for, for all of your Ragdolls? Or they, normally that only counts for <laughs> one of your Ragdolls, right? That no, would have been the, that would have been strange if that just that counted worked? for that specific Ragdoll. Evan breaks the game. It yeah. works for that one specific <laughs> unit that you yeah. have. And that was a that was a pre-ban we could foresee. Right, uh, we knew that was coming. And Ragdoll was an obvious ban from blue side. Exactly, and this is actually this is exactly what we thought would play out. Raza locking in that Vanessa right away, securing that early speed lead. Blue following up with Daphnis and Fran. Yeah, uh, Daphnis and Fran is not a bad pick for Blue's side, uh, considering like I have seen it on the group stage. I don't know if he has changed anything uh, until today, uh, but his team is insanely fast. It, it, like notably fast, and that's saying notably something fast, because yeah. these top eight players have some of the fastest speeds in yeah. Europe. So that's saying something if he's fast. So look out, America! <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out! We'll see you at the World Finals. What am I saying? I'm just speaking from whatever position I'm in right yeah. now. Coming in with the the hottest unit in the world right now. It's my, Lauren, my baked baby. The, the baked cake. That's yeah. the cake that everybody's eating. Uh, and then Ager, one of the staples of RTE Season 9 and Season 10. Don't have him, by yeah. the way. Fun fact about me. You don't. Uh, oh. And good. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But that is a staple staple team, which I'm going for as well. Razit is copying. No, I'm kidding. He's not copying me. I probably copied him. So, uh, and Blue goes with that Triton. That Triton. So, okay, does that indicate that he's trying to fight for that first turn? Triton's got that incredible yeah. base speed. Yeah, it, it all just leans on if he's going to ban. The, the reason he... Probably reason p he picked Triton was maybe he's not going to ban that Vanessa. Uh, considering what uh, Razith, like, whatever Razith picks right now, it might not, uh, it might be a ban of, uh, like, one of those units. Mm, that's an interesting way to do it. So Blue is basically just prepping for the monsters he can see right now. A Vivichel? Is that a, that's a Vivichel. That is a Vivichel. Uh, you know, okay, he Ooh. has, he is, he was a guild of mine, but he surprises me every time. So, uh. Uh, Vivachel is not new, but I, 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 I'm pretty sure hasn't used it that often. There we go. And a Diana to wrap up Blue's draft. Diana is one of my most feared monsters as a water-heavy player. Mm -hmm. I, I have a mm -hmm. lot of water monsters, so Diana is often the bane of my existence. Yeah, so it looks like uh, Blue is not 100% confident of, of, about outspeeding Raza, so he banned that Vanessa. Um, it probably, probably won't outspeed that Wusa, considering, uh, you know what? I've actually forgotten Triton's uh, extra speed. Uh, that <laughs> base extra speed. base speed yeah. from that recent buff. So if Blue can secure that first turn and make sure that Wusa doesn't get those shields and immunity up, he might not even have to worry about that mm -hmm. Vivichel. It might mm -hmm. not even come into play and snipe yeah. out that unit. I'll tell you who he should be worried about, though. It's Lauren. Baby. It's Lauren, my baby. Here we go. Match three, round one, Razith versus Blue. And Triton is going to get the first turn, likely going to set up that strip and the attack bar reduction, developing out that third skill. Interesting uh, play, uh, play there, because I would have thought that he'd go for the silence. I would have got, yeah, exactly. Me and either. just snipe out either, uh, uh, yeah, snipe out the will units, in this case, Viva Chell. But Lord. That's what I was thinking, too, because I was hoping that he would do the silence to make sure that Wusa couldn't actually put up those shields instead. Mm -hmm. But, you know, to each their own, and yeah. he's definitely got that attack bar reduction in spades. Yeah, and you can, as we've all confirmed, Lauren is such a threat that he has to go for the first kill on Lauren. Mm -hmm. And now I think he's going to be able to set up a kill with Daphnis right now. And Vivichel has been reset, so yeah. she's not going to be contributing to this game for a little while. And now he can just silence and... There will be no strip. Silence on everybody. Wusa doesn't get to put any shields up. Lauren's dead. She's dead. <laughs> She's um, dead. This is heartbreaking, but we'll just have to accept it. Now Blue is already ahead, four to three. He only has a few more monsters to deal with, and nobody can use any of their skills thanks to Triton's second skill. Yeah, but however, Adrian can also like do some glorious stuff, so it all depends on, it, uh, on the additional procs from his side. You're right, and we saw that last game. We saw that last game, and this in this case, however, Blue still, okay, that was a really, really... That was a great sleep. A really good sleep. 
However, uh, Blue still has the double win units that doesn't deal a lot of damage, but you know, uh, Ganny's third skill can do. And it, it, deal, it dealt a suitable amount right now, 5,000 on Aegir. That's uh, the 5,000 that would have just been regular health if he mm -hmm. hadn't, so that's pretty good. Here comes Daphnis. Does he do it? Does he do the second skill? He uses Overwhelm and he increased the cooldown time on Wusa, keeping and the shield. That off. is the beautiful Wusa. Another with the sleep. sleep. I would love to introduce our Wusas yeah, if we get it, the chance. It's a Hathor in disguise, to be honest. It's a single target Hathor. Yeah. There's a Lucia under those. <laughs> under those. Yeah. It's a Lucia in there. Ganymede can choose to reset, but chooses to instead just apply some glancing to Aegir, making it so that his Fran gets to live a little bit longer. I, I, I'm a big fan of that play because while she's got branding up, she is uh, definitely vulnerable to whatever Aegir has, has in store. But Aegir still oh. seems to be rocking the Casbah. Holy... <laughs> that is so beautiful <laughs> to see. Um, this I'll... would be a great time to put up Wish of Immortality. Yeah. Get a little bit of extra health. Daphnis is asleep, so he won't be able to capitalize on that. No. And now Ganymede, he can look a little bit forward and, and try to reset. Some... Chooses not to. Getting more heals on Aegir. Aegir, not enough to kill Fran. That... Fran is hanging on by a thread. It all depends on the pushback right now. It, it, that was a really crucial pushback on Aegir. Uh, so I just want to this... see. He's going to... Okay, oh. he has the Hellfire. He could just go, go for, for the them. Aegir. This is bold. Trying to get a little bit of damage. That's going to be enough no matter what. I think that could even glance and do it. 13.7k to round mm -hmm. out that Aegir. Mm -hmm. And now it's looking firmly in Blue's favor. It is. Uh, and... Uh... It, it didn't look like that at uh, at the uh, when when uh, like I was like for me I would probably do the greedy play and just heal with third skill on Fran. Yeah. But yeah, and you greed and then you hope for the proc into the second skill maybe mm -hmm. or you just put up the you just put up the immunity and hope for anything. Mm -hmm. Blue is basically securing his point right now. He was already navigating those cooldowns so effectively, uh, but now he's put Razeth in a position where he just can't come back. He can't. Um, he has too much control in this position. Um, the only thing Razit can do is just contemplate what can we That's do That's exactly. Counter. Well said, because players at this level, they're not in this... Razit is not in this game anymore. He's in the next one. He's thinking about that pick ban phase, exactly. what went wrong, uh, and how he can circumvent it in round number two. Mm -hmm. Ganymede, again, just choosing to chip away. He doesn't really have to make too many decisions right now. He's taking the safe play, ventilating the Triton, so that way uh, no skills can come up and that this game doesn't go on any longer because now he's playing this meta game mm -hmm. where the longer it takes, Razith is getting more time to think about it, and exactly. he doesn't want to let him I, think. I, yes, uh, it almost looked like Lou was enabling him to get that thinking moment. Right. You know? <laughs> so. I think he realized that there's still a timetable here. Yeah, like, exactly. The longer you take to kill him, the more he gets to think about how to kill you in match so, two. It's not a make it a rope here. No, so. it's not a make it a rope. That's a shout out to make it a fun earlier. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Although I'm a, I, I, it's terrible, but I do love seeing I love seeing ropes in SWC. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a connoisseur of that. I love using the word connoisseur. This is something I, I like today. it. Yeah. I like that word. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I'm not a connoisseur of uh, the roping. roping. Of the roping. Uh, it, yeah, of the roping because that has just uh, like it has been. Uh, it has always grown the revenge on me. So look at this, Rasa taking. He's getting so much extra time. Yeah. I'm sure by this point he's come up with a master plan <laughs> of how to change this up in round number two. Blue's is dead. Blue finally gets the point that he earned like five minutes ago. Yeah, so he it. And this time, there should be so many surprises. Just Take it away, teasing guys. Teasing me like with this. I want to see this play out, and I really hope that after all this, Eleanor stays I just, in. I want to see Blue like just okay troll pick. No, please. Oh, oh, don't do this. <laughs> no, it's not gonna happen. It's definitely not gonna happen because uh, he's pretty much shown us that he doesn't want to pick that Oberon even as a personal favor. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's, uh, yeah. Again, if Eleanor is banned at the end of this thing. I'm going to be lightly salted. Insulted or salted? Lightly salted. Okay. Lightly salted. Okay, like chips? Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, much <laughs> like chips. All We're right. going to see Blue assemble his crowd control comp again. Rasith, uh, hopefully avoiding the Iris pick this time. Mm -hmm. like, something might, Again, something like a misclick may have happened there when he locked it in because uh, locking in a monster can become a little bit of a twitch, like yeah. a muscle memory habit, like you said. Yeah. Running out that comp that Taki is frankly not a huge fan of. And I think you were talking you, about how you, you don't, don't like you don't, it. You don't have to pick it up all the time. Because Sorry, people, I, you don't. I, you don't, though. I love it. I love to hate it. But I, I also, also hate to love it. <laughs> you hate to love it. <laughs> Resistance plus 55%. Don't adjust your monitor. That's real. It is. 55%. That's basically another set of will. So good luck landing all that crowd control. For it. You know, it's funny that he still banned the Hawthor 
even considering he had all that additional resistance in the background, but that's very traditional for Raza. He, he doesn't really like keeping Hathor around. Uh, Hathor, even though you have the resistance, he has that possibility to still sleep. Look at that. He slept the Verd and he procked the counter. He procked the counter, but he didn't get it because he fell asleep. Josephine going in to provoke the Fran. She is now no longer in control of her turn. She's not going to be able to put up any any cleanses or heals. She has to attack that and unit. And there we see the resistance lead coming in, into play. Getting Missing that defense break on the Lauren. Mm -hmm. And reducing cooldown time by, I believe the number is two, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. By two. And the units that he plays with has really low cool cooldown, so uh, it's just cool. Yeah, it's just a little icing on the cake there because I, I feel like we've had this conversation before. You don't need Verd's second skill at all. Josephine's already back in. Procking! Out of the sleep, <laughs> getting attack bar for the units. Now, Eleanor can follow up with Oro Dawn and deals with stuff. She gets a violent proc. Defense break on Alucia. He's got two monsters set up for a kill right now. He can do some serious damage with this Lauren right now. This actually could... Uh, he chooses not to go for the kill on Fran. It's probably a good idea because that didn't look like a lot of damage after all. No, it's not a lot of damage. It's not a lot because no. most people don't rune her up for that damage. No, it's more controlled. So uh, you, you go with the uh, stat-wise. Uh, Love. I love that choice. He knew that Fran was provoked, so he didn't waste his turn attacking her. He let her take that provoked turn and get her own death. Exactly. And now he can just finish her off. Was that not the most eloquent sentence I've ever said? Get her own death? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard you say a lot of stuff, lot but of that was really, stuff really stuff eloquent of you. Thank you. <laughs> now we've got a stunned Lucia. However, ve uh, he ventilates Vanessa. Yeah. And so now that passive is back on board. Yeah. Josephine. Getting all of these mad stuns beautiful, on Blue's team. Beautiful, beautiful stuns, procs. I love that. Uh, I, I love that. <laughs> Going for the damage on Verd instead. He doesn't really need the heal right now. He's sitting at a cool, like, 90% of his health. He doesn't need to go for that. Razith might actually put a point on the board here if these debuffs stick around and take us to a round three after this. That's a kill on Vanessa. He doesn't have to worry about the passive. Both of these monsters are stunned. Blue, scratching his face, wondering what he's done wrong. He's, uh, he enabled the Lauren. He enabled the Lauren and... Uh, and he underestimated, like, as I said before, you, you don't underestimate that leader skill. No, that 55% is pretty good. She has a great kit. Round two is over. There is a point on the board now for Ross. That's right, here we go. Match three, round three, the match we've all been waiting for. Rosseth mm -hmm. versus Blue. One point on the board for both players. Whoever can secure that win is going to move on to the semifinals. The other person is unfortunately going to go home. Yeah, unfortunately, he will have to sit and watch everybody play, but it's it's okay. It's a fun event. Also, you can say that you made it all the way to this point. You made it all the way. Because this is an <laughs> yeah. achievement. They've gotten through the prelims. They've gotten through all the group stages to get here in the top eight of their region. Yeah. Picks and bands, again, like Rapid said, are going to carry out the same way as they were before. The only thing that's allowed to change is the leader skill. Yeah. It's not going to change too much uh, in Blue's side. He will probably go with that speed lead. Um, but on Razith's side, he could, like, admittedly, maybe go for that speed lead. Maybe the, uh, that HP lead. Maybe that resistance lead, depending yeah. on what... Uh, what will be the ban. Exactly. Uh, there is some incentive there to go with the speed lead because Raza has picked all these units that have that first turn kill capability between Daphnis and Vivichel. Vivichel uh, arguably is more of a setup unit, but... Look at that colorful team of Raza. How can you not vote for that? He has every element. It's a rainbow color. How could you not he has vote for that every element. Team? Like, oh, man. So this is where the changes are going to be starting. They're going to be selecting a leader skill after this ban phase. So she hoes out, Josephine's out, and now it's Raza's team is looking <laughs> so aggressive right now. It all depends on the will runes right now. Uh, so if Raza's have those will runes, um, but in a sleeve, he has Fran in his team. So uh, now that he has Daphnis, he could just one shot that. That's the thing, man. I, you know, uh, you know, one shotting stuff is pretty. pretty and if Blue, if fulfilling. Blue has will runes, or if that Fran goes. Daphnis is going to eat them for breakfast. <laughs> He's going to eat a unit for breakfast. We're going to see him eat it right now. And you know what's funny? With the Lenoa, he will get another turn. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Okay, so Okeanos is going to secure that first turn. This is where he lives or dies. Can he strip and reset that Daphnis? He does yeah, it. He it's increased. The fear is gone. Look at that. So That speed tuning is so close. He would have had that second chance even if he didn't get the increased cooldown time on it. He could set up the kill 
for a unit right now if he wanted to, but chose to go for that instead. Now, why do you think he set up that immunity instead of getting rid of Vanessa's <laughs> passive? Like, as, as a greedy player that I am, I would yeah. have loved to kill that friend, considering that the rest of his team would have gone after the kill, right. uh, and potentially just finish that friend off. But he's going for that longer game, prolonged game, not prolonged, but a longer game, like trying to play it more safely. That's true. And I think we've had this discussion before where there is something to be said for burning all of your skills on one thing. And now he gets to put a <laughs> second bomb on Okeanos, popping the bomb, so two beautiful. stuns on the table, almost killing units. And that Vanessa. And the Vanessa is going to go down almost. next time. Next time. Next time it's going to go down. 16,000 Ks. I mean, 16 Ks, 16,000 damage. 16,000 Ks. Could you that imagine 16,000 Ks? That is the same number. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of fingers. There's, uh. there's a deep Defense break on Ciara, so naturally she should be a little bit scared right now. Mm -hmm. Ganymede just taking those extra turns off of her skills, getting that cool, nice little proc there, and just getting the glancing hit on Eleanor because she does have her big uh, second skill, the Aura of Dawn. She does, and in this case, like it's looking pretty. That was a really <laughs> that was an excellent proc. <laughs> that wasn't. That was next level. <laughs> that was a possibly round-defining proc right there from Daphnis. Vivichel is pretty much just a glorified healer at this point. Yeah. I mean, Vivichel is really not there for damage. I almost feel like I was baited into that. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I, I, did I see wrong? But did I see a violent Daphnis? It, it, that was a violent Daphnis. That was a violent Daphnis. By the way, that was a violent Daphnis. Also, you just saw Fran die to a dot. Yeah. You trust that 5%. We trust that 5%. All, we, all the time. All the time. That's right. This is 